my name is Chrissy. I was born in 1983. And when I was about seven years old, I had the coolest babysitter. Ah, oh, Chrissy. I know her as Christina. Christina was a little girl that uh, lived across the street from me where I grew up in Maryland. And from time to time, I used to babysit her sister, her and her sister, Farah. Several months ago, somebody sent me a link on my DeviantArt account to a YouTube page of this just beautiful, beautiful young woman claiming that I used to babysit her. Turns out that my babysitter was Lauren Faust. It took me a couple minutes to figure out who it was because she called herself Chrissy and I remembered her as Christina. This babysitter I had, she was so cool. She'd come over and draw for me. I would sketch the whatever they asked me for, and in Chrissy and Farrah's case, it was horses. My mom saved these for over 20 years. I was a little mortified when she was holding up those drawings, because like any artist worth their salt doesn't like anybody seeing stuff they drew when they were 13. I really hope this doesn't embarrass her. That was, that was an amazing, an amazing surprise. I came to BronyCon from Brooklyn to see my childhood babysitter. I just got here. I'm trying to figure it out, trying to find Lauren. This is my first convention, so I have no idea what to expect. The day is young, so we'll see. Hopefully I can find her and just give her a hug and say hi. wanted a respectable show for girls because saying something is for girls or girly is usually equated with being not worthwhile, of being lame, of being stupid, and I wanted to put a dent in that perception. As I'm sitting there, I'm listening to Lauren talk about her role in Friendship is Magic and how she was able to personally shape the characters. It was just amazing to be part of all this. I was so caught up in just kind of the high of the whole convention. It was just like an onslaught of, of, of emotion and just sensory perception. It was, it was just crazy. Are you trying to make me cry again? Are you? Because I will. I love you. Thank you. I don't even know how much I was able to really think while all of that was happening. I finished my interview and I went, where am I supposed to go now? Somebody tell me where I need to go. And they pointed to the stairs and all of a sudden, Christy's just standing right in front of me. Hi! I came to say hi to you. Oh my God! Oh my God! I just kind of just melted and just, just gave her this great big hug. I haven't seen you since you were this big. I know, I was this big. And I... Oh my God! He brought me some of those old drawings. Oh, I had a sneaky feeling. And she had me sign one. You know, I think I even had forgotten that I had done those drawings. Oh, th thank you. I saw your video, and I think I just about had a heart attack. Know, My I'm mother sorry. was in tears. Oh, your mom saw it? <laughs> oh, totally. Can you? We talked about mainly just our past and how our families are. Are they still in Silver Park? Um, Next court, huh? So I see your house every time I go home. Oh my god, that's so weird. You know, it was just it was just one more amazing, slightly surreal moment in a big, amazing, surreal weekend. It was really great to, to see her again and to, to connect with her and it just brought all these memories rushing back of, of growing up and you know, she's someone I, I thought I'd I'd never see again. It just it never occurred to me that I might see her again. And I have this memory of her as a five-year-old and like to just see this this beautiful young woman standing in front of me and and and, and to get to talk to her and to catch up with her is, was, was just a, a beautiful experience. It's probably one of the coolest stories of somebody that 
I know what ended up becoming of them. And to see somebody that's always wanted something and has always been so talented, able to achieve it at this level is just, it's amazing, it's an inspiring story, it's, it's humbling, it's a lot of feelings at once, so. In the last episode of season two, Twilight Sparkle reunited with her old full setter, Princess Cadence. You remember me? Of course I do. How could I forget the filly I love to sit for the most? Yeah, I feel like a little Twilight Sparkle today. <laughs> it's a good feeling.